Tell me what an overage is. An overage is once all the overhead in each city has been um, paid for by the box office, there are monies that are left over and that gets split amongst IOTC, APPAM, AFM, and Actors' Equity. It's a percentage. And that's after the producers take their share? Yes. That's interesting. And everybody gets an equal allotment of the overage, of the profits? Yeah, unless you, you know, you negotiate something. Generally speaking, a musician is definitely just, you know, you're getting the the contract agreement. I mean, just for an example here, um, a show like Les Mis on tour makes more than a full production tour um, as far as the salary goes for a musician, especially if you're making doubles, um, because the overage is so high. Um, at least it has been historically. I, I I will admit I have I haven't kept up to date, um, but pre COVID, a hundred percent was making really big money, um, and we're talking about box offices that are at gross, you know, over a million, close to two million um, a week on tour, and that's that's gross. Um, and then net of that, we'll, we'll have the overage, and that can look a number of different ways. That can be. Four hundred thousand um, dollars, and you're seeing 026 percent of that, or whatever that figure is. Um, but it really matters. You could be you could be doubling your weekly wage every week, depending on the tour you're on. Man, I gotta call this Broadway touring one hundred and one because man, there's money to be made out there. 